Hello and welcome to another video of mine. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Cricket 2022 on the Xbox Series S. Now, before I get started with the game, there are quite a lot of options that you have in the game. We're going to take a look at some of these options a little later on. So you've got like a home button, you've got a play button, and you've got a create button. So here you can kind of create logos and bats and... Uh, create stadiums as well. So they have like a template that you can work off of. And um, you have many options that you can choose from to customize your own stadium, to customize your own bat or logos. There's a touring option. There's a competition designer as well. So in terms of what you can get for um, this game, well, there's quite a lot on offer. You also can resume any one of your games if you kind of were busy and uh, you had to shut the game down. You can pick right where you left the game. So you have an option of continuing the game, just like I'm going to show you uh, one of these games that I was playing. An India-Pakistan match. And I'm going to select, obviously, India to go along with. Uh, depending on which team you want to select, you can just put the controller there and uh, you'll play as that team. So here I'm just continuing this uh, particular game. And um, because India was bowling, so let's start off by talking about the uh, bowling options that you have. Now, I kind of, <laughs> you know, I've tried batting before, but I've never tried bowling. I was, I was kind of, you know, batting as uh, Pakistan. But uh, here, when it comes to the Indian team, this is the first time that I'm actually trying my hand at bowling in this game. Um, it's pretty easy. I mean, uh, no rocket science. The controls are very easy. As you can see, you have an option of Yorker. You have a full pitch ball. Uh, you have a good length ball and all that sort of stuff. Now, when you go and in, get into the settings, you do have options to change your camera angles as well. And I will highly recommend that you do check these options out because by default, when you start off, especially when you are batting, then um, the camera angle is actually from behind the batsman. It's like you're facing the audience. Personally, I don't like that camera angle. And I prefer this one where, you know, I'm facing the camera in the sense the batsman is facing the camera. And uh, I got to swing my back and then, you know, <laughs> take a shot at it. So I prefer this camera angle. And if you are like me, then you would kind of appreciate the fact that there are many camera angles to choose from. Now... As far as the um, game goes, let me give you a little bit of information about the game, just like any of my other videos. Let's start off with the game size. The game size is around 44.2 gigabytes on your Xbox Series S. Now, I don't know how much uh, internal storage or storage it's going to occupy in Xbox Series X or on the PlayStation 5, because, because, because on the Xbox Series X and on the PlayStation 5, this actually runs on 4K resolution. Whereas on the Xbox Series S, I don't think it's running at a native 4K, but I think it might be running at, say, about 1080 or maybe even 1200p. I'm not sure about that. So in case you have that information, you can let me know in the comments uh, section. But yeah, on the premium grade consoles, which is the X and the PlayStation 5, you do get 4K resolution. Now, speaking of resolution, the graphics did look sharp on the Xbox Series S. So... Therefore, I'm saying it's definitely not 900p. It's definitely around the 1080p or maybe even more than 1080p. And I wouldn't be surprised if it even touches the 1440p mark because the graphics do look sharp on the Xbox Series S. Now, as far as the frame rates go, the frame rates were pretty steady. Now, there are a mix of you know these cutscenes plus these in-game um, bowling or batting that you're doing. And I would say that... Um, the transition is pretty good. There's a lot of motion blur that they've used. Sometimes it does hit your eye, especially when, you know, the umpire is waving his hand or uh, the camera switches over to the batsman or the bowler in between these, these deliveries. So that's when the blur seems to be a little on the heavier side, uh, like the one that you were seeing right there. Now, Apart from, um, you know, being 44.2 GB on the Xbox Series S, now this is a pure X or an S game, meaning that it can only be played if you've stored it on the internal storage. You cannot and cannot store it on the external storage and play. So I just thought I'll mention that as well. 
And uh, apart from that, this is an Xbox Gen 9 game. So even if you go into the file info, you would notice that it's an Xbox Gen 9 and not an Xbox Gen 9 aware game, meaning that allows you to store it on your external hard disk or SSD and play it off of it. So this needs to be stored on your internal storage, by the way. So yeah, the commentary is pretty decent. I think the graphics are all right, but for a game getting released in 2022, I would have definitely expected more because when you look at other games, sports games in particular, especially games like FIFA or um, any other game for that, you know, even rugby or NBA, then the graphics are comparatively way better, especially when it comes to the uh, background, the audience and the way the uh, audience looks, I think, well, it, it's not that I'm complaining about it. I mean, it's not too bad, but it's not that great as well, especially when the camera pans over the players, like here, for instance, you see, it, it looks like there's a time difference between the player and the audience. The audience seems to be in slow motion always, or I don't know, you know, the frames look a little jittery when it comes to the audience in the background. So that's why I would say that uh, they could have done a better job there. I don't know if you noticed that as well while you play the game. In case you do, let me know. It looks like they are running at two different times in the sense like one is going ahead in time and it's running at the normal sp speed or pace and the audience seems to be running in slow motion or this jittery kind of a frame rate. So there's definitely some difference in the frame rate between the audience in the background and the actual player in the foreground. Now, there are loads of options. You know, if you want to start a match, you can go into the match settings, you can customize the stadium, you can choose from the various stadiums that are available. You can choose between a test match, a one day or a T20. So here I've just decided to go along with the Melbourne cricket ground. You can even uh, cherry pick the, um, uh, the, I think the temperature or the uh, climate uh, where you're playing. Load times are very respectable. In fact, there are hardly any. You count till 10, it won't even you know allow you to count till 10. It gets loaded up pretty fast. So that's appreciated. Now, when the game actually starts, because the previous game was a continuation of one of my save files. So this one, I've started a game from scratch. So you can see it starts from this cinematic kind of a opening sequence where there is the national anthem playing in the background. You are introduced to the players, you're introduced to the team and the stadium, etc. And um, the commentators do a respectable job, I would say. I'm Mike Atherton, and with me for this match is Mel Jones, Ali Mitchell, Ian Healy. And yeah, it's very cinematic. It's just like uh, you would uh, experience in real cricket matches, talking about the pitch, and then you get into the toss as well. I think these sequences are well thought of. Although it's it's just the, um, you would say the question of finesse, that is missing in my personal opinion, because the players could have looked better, the audience could have looked better. So here you've got an option of uh, either batting or bowling. So the other team won the toss and thankfully for me, they decided to bowl. Might have been a better toss to lose. Bowling first, well, how convenient for me that is. <laughs> so yeah, I was talking about their audience. You know, the audience looks quite flat. But here, when the sequence opens again, you know, it's, this is like a cinematic. Appreciate it. It does give you that immersive feel. Well, anything that they do to improve the immersiveness of the game is definitely appreciated. So yeah, I've changed the camera angle. Therefore, you know, you've got like this broadcast kind of a camera angle here. So here you have four different options that you can choose from, like an attacking, a precision or aggressive as well, or to defend when it comes to the batting. So here you see Y, B, A, X. Similarly, if you're playing it on the uh, PlayStation 5, the controls would change accordingly. Triangle, square, circle, or an X. So overall, notice the ba notice the background. Notice the players in the background here. Yeah? They look so jittery. <laughs> I mean, it's like they're running at uh, 14 
maybe frame rates per second that kind of a experience that you get but yeah in terms of the gameplay i would say the gameplay looks pretty smooth i'm not sure what uh, frame rates um, it's running on but it looks pretty smooth to me uh, i may not be surprised if it's running at a 60 fps as well because it does look pretty smooth to me a bit of frustration after that shot went after it but just couldn't lay a bat on it the transitions between the uh, delivery and the commentary and the camera angle switch is pretty seamless pretty nice and it is very immersive because it does remind you of uh, real matches yeah you've got a bit of a uh, advertising in the background that doll they might have put in a lot of money to get their name getting advertised here you've got vodafone in the background as well so yeah let's let's talk about the game and give you a little bit of information about the game by the way just like i do in all my uh, videos now in terms of the development of this it's developed by oh that's a shot that's a nice shot so the last ball of the over and i got a 6 out of it fantastic so coming back to the information about the game this game is developed by big ant studios it was published by nacon and um it's it's like the official game of the ashes and this is called cricket 2022 well it however released in 2021 towards the end of 2021 i think it was in the month of december it's uh, been released for your xbox and your playstation series and uh, now i think you even have a nintendo switch version of it i'm not sure about that though So what Cricket 2022 does is it introduced a, a completely like revamped bowling and fielding controls, and um, it's got a very arcade style of uh, gameplay. And uh, I think even the uh, batting options or the batting gameplay has actually been changed because you have like something called a direct hit system uh, that you have. And uh, yeah, I mean overall the game looks pretty all right, not extraordinary, but um, It's all right. It's I would say respectable. Off the front foot, hit it with all the power and elegance of a batter. It's just the audience. I mean, that really gets to you in the sense. Just look at them. The player seems to be running in 30 fps or even 60 fps, but the audience seems to be running in 10 to 15 fps. That is so weird. It takes away from that immersiveness, you know. So you've got spin bowling now. I mean, this bowler. he is getting hammered <laughs> now i'm playing this game on the easy mode by the way just uh, for reference so in case you want to know there are different uh, difficulty levels as well so this one is easy so on the easy mode even if you don't time it like precisely you can still get away with it and uh, just like i am getting away with a lot of uh, you know these deliveries and i'm hitting every one of them right back to the audience and here goes another one fantastic Now this one's a 4 though not a 6. Well that was a really solid shot. Read the length early to get onto the front foot. Uh, everything so far looks uh, pretty all right, pretty decent. I would say it has that um I don't know if I'm being harsh on it, but it has that sense of mediocrity written all over it. <laughs> Because uh it's not extraordinary, you know? I mean when you take a look at a game and you go like, "Wow, this looks good." You're not going to have any of that. Not in this game. In this game you're going to take a look at it and you're going to be okay all right so this does this okay uh, it looks like this all right so that kind of an experience is what you are in for and that's why i said you know it has mediocrity written all over it i haven't even seen how uh, this game has been rated but i bet it's going to be somewhere in the uh, between 4 to 6 because if i were to rate this game i'd probably give it a 6 because hey i'm <laughs> a little easy going you could say and i'm uh, a little kind when it comes to rating video games so i would give it probably a 6 out of 10 because you do have a lot of options but then again you know i mean it's all about that label of mediocrity that you will come across please don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with this game it is um, quite all right i mean it gives you the stats after each over is uh, bowled uh, the commentary is uh, pretty all right it's again not extraordinary it's right in there <laughs> not great but not bad as well 
Ooh. A right. lovely delivery. Got it in short and surprised them. They'll be happy only one of those is allowed. All right, so. I mean, if you just like to move your back around and. Uh, oh. And if you just like hitting into the um, audience, that is a four or a six. Play it on the easy mode, is what I would say. I think this game performs well on the Xbox Series S so far. I have not experienced any uh, screen tearing. I have not experienced any frame drops. And uh, I haven't experienced anything which uh, really ticks you off in the sense, I know I've stated that, you know, this is a mediocre game, but it holds up really well in terms of performance on your Xbox Series S. So it's smooth. The load times were fantastic. The graphics are smooth apart from the audience and um, in terms of the character animation they're all right they're okay the character design very unoriginal they look like uh, they look like templated characters that you would get on uh, something like unity game store etc so it, it does look like that well the positive thing is that uh, you have character customization options which i'm gonna get into as well so you have an ability to customize your character as well that's a good thing. That's a plus. Now, speaking of options, there are loads and loads of options here. Now, if I go over to create, like I was saying, you have an option of creating stadiums. So let's try to create a stadium. You can either manage or create a stadium. So if I get into creating a stadium, so here you have an option of creating this. Now you have different options that you can choose from. But um, starting off with, you can move your stadium where you want, wherever you want to place it. So you can move the object. If you come out of the, like, uh, you could say the boundary, then it will give you a red outline. So that means you can't place it there. So yeah, you can actually play around with the shape of the stadium. And uh, yeah, let's go for long. There are different stadium presets as well. So these are like default designs in the system and you can choose one of them from there. The pitch size, the grass style. So I think there are a few options that you will appreciate. Again, nothing, nothing like these stadiums that you get on FIFA, by the way. It doesn't even come close when it comes to the quality of the, um, uh, the design. You can name your venue as well, blah, blah. So yeah, you do have a few options here or there. And uh, this is just the stadium creator, by the way. So I'm not going to save this. I'm just going to move out of here. And then you have an option of uh, creating logos or creating back as well. So yeah, you can choose a make. You can choose the brand, blah, blah. And then you come down, you can choose like the model. There are five that you can choose from. So there are a few options that you will appreciate. Hey, at least the good thing is that it's there. In a lot of cases, you would not even find these options. But the good thing here is that the option exists. That is important <laughs> that it exists. Now, I understand that it's a mediocre kind of a you know, experience that you get, but hey, at least you have it. You have a player manager as well. You can manage or you can even create a male player like I was saying, right? So here, let's go into creating a male player. So you have customization options as well. You can um, customize the appearance. You can customize the personality, the skills, the works, the proficiencies, uh, even the equipment down to the equipment. So pretty all right, I think. Yeah, you know, you can increase the height as you can see decrease the height you can change the skin tone there are quite a lot of them that you can actually choose from again being inclusive is the theme i would say uh, body type as well you can go from being lean or bulky so there are there are there are quite a lot of options and i would say if you play around with it you can actually enjoy you know customization here I particularly enjoy customization options in a game so i appreciate the fact that uh, they do have this included in the game because the um, characters by default or the stock characters are pretty 
default types <laughs> meaning that um, they look like any asset that you would find on any 3d store online so yeah i appreciate the ui the ui is pretty all right i think it is easy to follow it's not very difficult they can change the location like where you're from as well so there's quite a lot that you can actually do Here, there's so many proficiencies like agility, aerobic fitness, slow bowling, spin bowling, blah, 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 blah. The list goes on. So a lot of options that you can actually choose from. Okay. So that's that. You've got uh, in the competition scenario in the play, you've got like a competition designer where you can create like a competition. Whether you want to go in for a T20 match, an 18 T20 a uh, three-day, one-day series, etc., and uh, you're going to be playing for a cup. And uh, yeah, you can take the difficulty notch up a little to have those challenging games as well. The good thing is that you have an option of selecting either a male team or a female team. So um, if you are a woman who is into cricket, then you're going to appreciate this. You can even create a story experience, like a career story experience, so even this option actually exists in this. So it starts off with these um, very poorly executed cutscenes, I would say. <laughs> Again, it's that stamp of mediocrity. But hey, it's there. You know, it's there. So it allows you to choose from a few dialogue options. And I'm just going to go along with my name. is Jed Foster. You could have changed your name right there if you wanted to. Your, if you personally ask me, this background, this setup, it actually looks like a mobile game. It doesn't even look like a console game here. And there are a lot of games on mobiles, on iPads now, which has actually caught up to console gaming as well in terms of graphics. And this one looks just like a mobile game, if you ask me. So, hey, it is what it is, right? And I'm just passing on my experience over to you guys the rest is up to you to decide um if you get to download it and play it by the way speaking of download this is available on xbox game pass so you don't need to pay anything extra in case you want to download it uh, my suggestion download it give it a try if you don't like it hey you can always delete it but if you're a cricket fan if you're a cricket lover if you're into sports especially cricket then i would say that definitely give, give it a try because you don't have to pay anything extra. It's included in the game pass. And uh, if you don't like it later on, you can always store it on your external storage in case you want to move back and forth between playing this and not playing this or just delete it overall. So here I was talking about, you know, those, those characters that you create. So you have quite a lot of options and um, here again, you're treated to another cutscene. The voice acting is, well, it's bad. Bad in the sense, it's mediocre, I would say, not bad. Let me not be that harsh. So it's, so it's mediocre. The facial animation is hardly there. <laughs> There's nothing there except for the eyebrows and your lips moving. That's about it. So here, you know, you get a few options that you can actually choose from, and then you move, finally move on over to a match, and you um, kind of move your way up uh, by playing against certain clubs. Then you, you know, may, maybe go on to the state level, then the national level, and then the international level. So you kind of are building up your career. It is very similar to any of the other, you know, career modes that you would find in other sports games. So, um, yeah, this is also there. So there are quite a lot of options that you can actually choose from in terms of this game. And um, let me know what your thoughts are if you do get your hands on this game. If you get to play it after you watch this video, I will highly appreciate it if you could drop a comment and let me know your thoughts about this game. Now, if you've liked this video, then I will appreciate if you could hit that like and subscribe button because it helps with the YouTube algorithm. It helps my channel grow. And um, I would thank you in advance for doing that. Now, you could also share it with your friends and family members and also hit that bell icon in case you want to get notified with all my latest videos. Now, with that said, it's a wrap for this one. 
and i'll see you lovely folks in my next video until that time i'd say take care stay safe and may god bless you all